friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Michiwi and I'm on a weight loss journey. And yesterday I shared a few thoughts about consistency, leading a horse to water, a little bit about mangoes, and also that realizations happen at different times during a weight loss journey. So I had a realization this morning. I realized that yesterday's video kind of emphasized that you needed to talk to a doctor before embarking on a weight loss journey, that there was all this like hardcore equipment that you needed, um, like body scans, body fat measurements, all that jazz. And it seems very daunting the way I put it. So I wanted to clear up a couple things. First off, I was already working with my doctor because of current health issues at the time. So I already had resources available to me. I didn't have to wait to see a doctor. We were already doing a lot of tests and analysis. And I still do stand by the fact that a doctor is going to help you with resources, get you correct measurements, help you guide your way through a weight loss journey. But it is not as daunting as I think I put it yesterday or made it seem. There are a lot of online free tools that I will link in the description box below that can help you start on it. You don't have to wait to start on it. If you've already started, you don't have to go and be like, oh no, I need to talk to a doctor because this chick on the internet said, hey, you need all these things done. There's information and resources available to you. The average person, I do believe, can figure out what they need to do to lose weight based on resources available to them online. It's just that doctors will help you in the right direction with resources, knowing that you're getting medically certified information, someone who went to school for this stuff. But like things like a scale, maybe some calipers and a calculator and some YouTube videos, some of your own research can help you plan a diet for yourself. So first and foremost, there are scales that you can get online called a body composition scale. I use one, it was like $32 on Amazon. It's called the Fit Index Scale, and it uses bioelectric impedance, impedance analysis. That was a tongue twister for me, sorry. Bioelectric impedance analysis. And that is used to determine how much of your total weight is fat-free mass and body fat mass. It uses this by conductivity of water mass. <laughs> so when you step on a body composition scale, a safe low-level current passes through your body. And since water is highly conductive, the current applied by the scale meets less resistance when passing through muscle, which has a high water content. And it meets more resistance when flowing through fat, which has a low water content. And because body composition scales are basing analysis through water, a person's hydration status can affect accuracy. But it's not really something to worry about. It's gonna get it pretty dang accurate from my experience and from what I'm reading online. It is mostly used to track body trends over time and uncover a significant shift in body fat. Using it at the same time every day is the best way to get those trends. These scales will give you your body fat percentage. Oh, here, let me pull it up real quick. So from Fit Index, the one I use, I get my weight, I get my BMI, I get my body fat percentage, I get my fat-free body weight, my subcutaneous fat, visceral fat, body water, skeletal muscle, muscle mass, bone mass, protein, BMR, and metabolic age. My skeletal muscle is very bad. It's very low. And because it saves it on my phone, I can tell that I have gained some muscle mass and lost some body fat percentage. So with body fat percentage, I think that one of the main things to know about that is what you need for your protein. So maybe you want some calculations that are with your current weight or measurements or body fat percentage to get other information because more information gives you more tools to your end goal. There are skin fold calipers and on women, there are more places that need to be measured. There's also different points, like there's some that are 3 point, 4 point, 7 point, 9 point. And I have a calculator at the bottom that I think does a really good job of switching from male to female and based on what caliper you choose, which can be found online, it will tell you what spot it needs to be measured and then give you an accurate rating based off of that. There are also YouTube videos on how to use a caliper correctly. I didn't find any, there's tons of them. You choose which one you want if you're going this route. There's also the TDE calculator. And if you switch around in the tabs there, it'll give you ones that you can add the body percent. There's protein calculators, uh, there's keto calculators. 
Knowing your goal is also important to knowing what you want to figure out on this. But the four links I have below will pretty much get you your basic stuff. I also like to follow the don't go over 20% rule. It's not really a rule that everybody knows. It's just one that I've been told because of metabolism stuff. So with the 20% rule, it's basically saying, hey, you used a TDE to figure out you wanted a certain calorie deficit. Just double check and make sure it isn't over 20% of the calories you were consuming. It might be too extreme. Also, if you don't know what your calories are and you're like, this TDE is telling me I have a calorie intake of a hugely different amount than what I know I'm getting, track your calories for a day, maybe a week, and then just reduce it by 500. A 500 calorie deficit every day for a week equals 3,500 calories, and that equals a pound of fat. But again, if you're already at a low calorie intake, 500 calories may be too much to take off. You may need to adjust that. So that's where the 20% rule comes in. Also the rule of don't go under 1200 calories. It's just a rule, don't do it. And again, feel free to fact check me in the comments. I'm not a doctor, I don't know everything. These are just the things that I know that are available resources, things that I have found that I understood easily enough. And I don't want weight loss to be daunting, way too much overthinking before you even start. There's also things, you know, like I can't address certain EDs. I can't, I can't speak on those. But for someone who is just like, oh yeah, I, I need to get a little bit in shape. These are, these are easy resources to get into. And frankly, I will never suggest that anything mental should be given online or through an app. Let's just say that. That's, that's a in-person, very, you trust that person you're talking to sort of situation. So, <laughs> uh, but other than that, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Best way to start your weight loss journey is to get informed. How you choose to do it, well, that's up to you. All right, with all that being said, I still need to make breakfast. I have no idea what I'm gonna have. Nothing sounds good. I, I can tell right now I'm in a, I want processed foods state of mind. That's all I want is processed foods. And that is not in my diet plan. It's occasionally in my diet plan, but not overtly. So I'm gonna have to have a think on that. Once I figure it out, I'll show you the end result. And then I need to do cleaning today. Today is just my house cleaning day. So I'll try to make it interesting. We also have to go grocery shopping. That won't be too interesting. I get the same things all the time, except this time I'm gonna get a couple things different, but it's for another video, so you can't see it anyway. But I guess I will just talk to you guys again later this evening when it's dinner time. You said let's jump on the bus and take a ride downtown. Well, I don't know about that. But can you help me first to get these boxes down? Well, I don't know about that. We have the whole day now just to ourselves so we can clean the house or clear out some shelves. You said whichever you feel like doing first, I said, well, I don't know about that Cause it's my lazy day Just wanna lazy away Ain't gonna do a thing For the rest of the day You can try to seduce me Make me wanna play I don't know about that Just keep trying and I'll just keep saying I don't know about that Cause it's my lazy day Just wanna lazy away Ain't gonna do a thing for the rest of the day You can try to seduce me Make me wanna play I don't know about that
much got all my chores done. A fun tip that I don't know if it's a good tip or if you guys even wanted it, but I learned that getting a fabric shower curtain and then a plastic one, um, I don't have to go shopping around for the design that often because in the wash machine, the plastic ones eventually will start to tear away, give way. And I really like my fabric one. <laughs> I don't want to have to keep buying the pattern over and over again. And the plastic ones, those clear ones, they're super cheap. But yeah, the easiest way to clean them and keep them, fabric one, plastic one, throw them in the wash machine. Then you just have to hang them up to dry, which I have yet to do. I just still need to do that. But we did get our grocery shopping done. There's nothing interesting except for a couple things that I'm not gonna show you because it's for something else. But I will show you two things. I love shrimp. I love finding new ways to eat it. And I thought of one way while I was out shopping and I saw them. bean sprouts. I freaking love bean sprouts. It is a great way to replace noodles. Uh, they got tons of nutrients in them. They're hydrating. Three fourths of a cup is 30 calories. It also has three grams of protein in there. And for five grams of carbohydrates, two of them are fiber. There's vitamin D, vitamin C, calcium, iron, and potassium. What's not to love? So even though that is super nutritious and delicious, I am going to pair it with some sweet and sour sauce. Now, I know that there is like low sugar to no sugar sweet and sour sauce. They're not at our grocery store. For two tablespoons, this is 40 calories with nine grams of sugar. That's just two tablespoons. So I think that's about as much as you would get with two teaspoons of sugar. So about that. Just gonna add a nice little flavoring for 40 calories. I'm okay with it. I do believe in having carbs. I do believe in having fats and I do believe in having proteins. My diet plan just consists more of less processed, less added sugars, more complex carbs and a higher protein intake. I have learned that that's where my body feels great at. Oh, and the shrimp is overflowing. I can't cook and talk to you guys. I don't know what is like the disconnect in my brain. Anyway, yeah, I learned that my body feels great on a higher protein diet. And then I just try and average out the carbs and fats for the rest of the calories. Uh, I also got immensely scared when I realized that you can die without protein. I didn't know you could do that. I thought, you know, if you get no calories, you could die. But no, protein is like a building block of all your cells and stuff. So <laughs> didn't realize it. This is, this is how much I didn't pay attention. I also didn't know that the recommended amount of protein was the please at least get this amount. This is literally what your body needs amount at the very least. This weight loss journey has very much been a learning journey for me. I guess with that, uh, I'll ask you guys, did you learn anything today? Would you like to learn anything that you want me to research? And did you have fun? Let me know in the comments. I'll show you my food. And with that, I'll say goodbye and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Well, I don't know about that. We have the whole day now just to ourselves So we can clean the house or clear out some shelves You said whichever you feel like doing first I said, well, I don't know about that Cause it's my lazy day, just wanna lazy away Ain't gonna do a thing for the rest of the day You can try to say